All right, I've got a toilet that won't stop. All right, let's take a look. Okay, there's a the problem. This has come off. It probably means it's broken, so yeah. You can see right there. So this needs to be replaced. Um, and this is, looks like it's leaking too. See all this water coming out there? So we're just gonna do both at the same time. So you can buy this in a kit. So let's start by turning off the water underneath. All right, water is off. You're gonna need an extra towel because when we take this thing off, it'll what, the water that's inside of the tank down there is gonna leak all over the floor. Okay, this is the kit you wanna buy. This is about 10 bucks. Uh, it's got the, the flapper and the fill valve. And uh, I mean, these last about five years or so. Um, I mean, you can pretty much say, you know, hope to get about five years out of one of these, you know, before they need to be replaced. But for 10 bucks, pretty easy fix. Okay, you need a pair of pliers and a towel. We'll start by putting a towel down. Just back underneath the toilet there. This is already off. So you'll notice we've got two things here holding this on. This first one is what is a compression fitting that fits this on. And the second one fits the filler valve. So we're gonna start by undoing those. Let's just see how tight they are. Oh, that's actually pretty loose. So it's already starting to leak out, but that's okay. It's probably going to fill up just whatever is left. Okay, then the next one is this, this one, which is tight. Okay, now that we've gotten this first nut off, we've got to get this big one. It's going to go this way, um, which I think is counterclockwise. Let's see. Okay, once you get it loose, there we go. Take that piece off. Should start, the rest of the water should start leaking. This should start moving now. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. Right, there goes all the water. Now this whole piece should just come right out. Set that in the sink. Let's see here. I've got this piece to take out. It's just a little clip here. Man, that was loud. All right, we've got very similar things here. We've got a hose we'll put on. Okay. That's just, this goes on for your overflow. Let's see. These are little adapters in case you need them. We might use them. This remove card. Okay, take that off. Got a new flapper. Get this new one. This should clip on your side pieces. Just like that. It is universal. So it should just go just like that. And make a nice seal. Next, we need to adjust this chain so that it basically attaches at this. So 
this is not tight but sort of loose so what I'll do now is I'll connect this like that so now I've just shortened the chain Let's see and then I'll connect this Uh, see how that works. There's a little bit of play right here. I don't know if I want that much play, so what I might do is just take a little bit of slack out. Uh, which they, this this design is much, so much better than the last one as far as getting it on and off. All right, so that's where that one was. So let's go down a little bit more. Let's go here. Okay, and we go on our thing. Ooh, that's that's actually too tight. Great. So we went too far down, so we'll take a little bit off. We'll come up like three or four lengths. And go up. And you got just a little bit of play in there. Alright, step one done. Next, we will take this stuff. See what we got here. All right, so this first thing should replace this thing, but I don't know if this comes off. It's actually, I think it's part of this tube. pliers took that piece off and then we've got a new piece that came with it should go something like should go just like slide on here there okay so for the next part I'm gonna take this rubber washer and put it on first because you need to have a rubber washer on the inside of the tank so we'll put that on. All right, I should fit inside that hole there. And then on underneath, we're gonna use this, which should just, oops. This should just slide back on. Yeah, just like that. Right, so let's see how this goes. You can do this however you want. I'm going to put it over here, I think. There. And there. So I'll probably put it like that. This will go up. This is your adjustment if you want it to go up higher or lower. We're just going to go with the default and see what that looks like. Alright. So once you get it in there, you gotta take the old little cap off, nut off. Uh, make sure you've got your compression fitting and then you can put your new one on. Tighten it. Let's 
doesn't have to be super tight, just finger tight. And this one, should go on like this, yeah. Okay. Again, just finger tight, not super tight. Okay, now we're just gonna get some water on here, see if it's leaking anywhere. I'll just dry around the area so I can test for leaks. Drying up the floor. Okay, you can tell the washer's going on the other side of this wall because it's shaking the water nicely. There it goes, it just stopped. Alright, so let's test a flush. doesn't go up very high. I think I might move it. Okay, this. I kind of want to pull the handle up higher. So I want to move this up a little bit. Let's see. Let's go up to here. And then I want to move this maybe over to the left here. To one of these other holes. See what this does. Okay, I'll see what that does. Yeah, I like that better. See, when you move your adjustment, when you adjust it over to the left here, it allows this lever to go up higher. So when you do your flush handle, so you can see when you do your flush handle, you'll actually have more space to travel. So that's why I'm gonna leave it right there. So you can see I've got a little, just a little bit of play in the chain. It'll be good for another few years. Make sure it stops.